In 1940, as Germany prepared for large-scale invasion operations, the Luftwaffe realized it needed something far bigger than the Ju-52 transport. Tanks, artillery, and hundreds of troops had to move by air. The solution became one of the most ambitious aircraft projects of the war, the Messerschmitt Mi-321 Gigant, a glider so massive it dwarfed every transport before it. Developed under the codename Project Warschau, the Mi-321 offered a cargo bay the size of a railway flat car. It could carry 23 tons of equipment, an 88mm gun with its tractor, or up to 200 soldiers. Its giant clamshell nose doors and steel tube frame made loading easy, but getting this monster off the ground was another matter. Early test flights revealed that even the powerful Junkers Ju-90 tow plane struggled to lift it. The Luftwaffe resorted to the risky Troy Kashlep method, using three BF-1 and 10 fighters in a V formation to tow the glider into the sky. It was dangerous, unforgiving, and resulted in one of the deadliest aviation accidents of the era when a booster failure pulled the formation into a fatal collision. To solve the problem, Heinkel created the unusual He-111Z Zwilling, two bombers joined by a fifth central engine, paired with rocket-assisted takeoff units. With this, the Mi-321 could finally launch reliably, but it was still limited. As a glider, it couldn't attempt a second landing. It was nearly impossible to move on the ground, and its range was short. By 1943, the Mi-321's role had faded, but its enormous airframe provided the foundation for the powered Mi-323 Gigant. And if you'd like to see how that evolution played out, check the video link in the description for our full breakdown of the Mi-323 Gigant.